Hello, my name is Ted Smith, and we're making these videos to highlight information contained in my book, Hempology 101, The History and Uses of Cannabis Sativa. And so, uh, I'm talking about hemp right now, I'm on the chapter on the history of hemp, and I was leaving off at the eight, end of the 1800s when hemp had started to die off, but then a resurgence came. There's an interest in hemp for various reasons. Certainly America wanted to be self-sufficient in all sorts of ways, and hemp was really important for lots of different products. And so in 1913, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, um, in their yearbook, uh, and it got uh, an entire section written on hemp. Uh, because it was something that the government was really interested in sort of resurrecting the hemp industry and economy and you can just get a sense uh, in reading this in 1913 that the hemp industry you know was quite sizable in the United States still despite all the competition and other factors you know it was still used a lot for rope and for canvas and I mentioned before it was used for paper but uh, in 1916 it was discovered uh, that the herds could be turned into paper. And I mentioned before that it was used for paper in all the earlier Bibles, but I'll need to describe the cannabis plant a bit. There's basically two parts to the stalk, like many plants. There's the fiber on the outside, the stra long strands of fiber, and then on the inside you have a cork. It's like a, a pith, but uh, it's called herds in the cannabis plant. And so the old papers, um, when I talked about redding, was separating the fiber on the outside from the herd on the inside. And there's several ways to do it. You can dry it and beat it and that will separate them very crudely. But you can then take the fiber and use it for things. You can submerge it in water and after a while that will separate the two. Uh, traditionally, the old Chinese paper, the early Bibles and such, were all made on paper made from fiber. Well, in 1916, the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced that the herds could be turned into paper, which was huge. It was it was uh, evolutionary because until that time, the herds were a waste product. The fiber was the gold. The fiber was what was used in the rope and the canvas and the paper. But all of a sudden, what was before a waste product, at, at best, it was used in uh, farms for the animal stables, like you would use straw. But suddenly, in 1916, the, the world changed for hemp, and paper could be made from the herds, which made it a lot more valuable instantly for farmers to grow because they had another product, a secondary product that they could sell. And so that gained a lot of attention, to be sure. I'll be talking more about that uh, as it goes on, because it was really important uh, that this happened, actually, against hemp more than for it. You'd think this would have made a world of difference for the better, but unfortunately, not the case. And you'll have to watch more of the videos. Subscribe to YouTube, where you can watch the videos we're making about my book. You can certainly follow the Cannabis Digest blogs that we put up uh, online because every week we come out with a new video there and lots of other information about cannabis. Uh, you can join me on Facebook or check out some of the other places. And you can buy my book at hempology.ca. Thanks for watching and have a great day.